Hey guys, it's me, Gina, and it's that time again. Yes, college pickup is here. The big bubble packing. I'm really close. I can't show you the, the big bubble. Sneak peek in the box. I got so much in my April PPU order that I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do a May. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got a lot. Be right back. Okay, guys, I hit the IPU stuff this month. Um, I got the KB Shimmer um, Sugar Scrub Fresh Peach, and I've smelled this, and oh my gosh, y'all, it's, it's amazing. It just made me want to eat it. Um, it's really a nice consistency there. Um, I've got such a long video, I'm probably not going to use it, and you know, and then show you I would like to but the video is already going to be crazy long that I may even have to split it up I will decide as I go <laughs> um, but that was the KB Shimmer Fresh Peach and then I got oh I was so glad to be able to get this um, because you know this is one of those ninja finger items you know that you have to get um, it's from Cuter Cuticles uh, top of the muffin to you and I've smelt, and it's barrier butter, and I have smelt it. And look, look what great branding! I love it when they do this. When you polish pick up, you know, and look, it's got the little muffin. I just love that. Um, and look at that, guys! Look at that. You know, looking at it, it makes me think of like Vaseline. And um, when I touch it, it's a little bit like that, but. Oh my gosh, there's no nothing of Vaseline about this stuff. Let me tell you, this stuff goes straight into your skin and the smell, oh, it's so blueberry fresh. I mean, it, it's awesome. This stuff is great. And you see there, see how that went in? And on my fingers, it's, I can still snap. <laughs> So no Vaseline, it just, it looks, you know, it reminds me of that, but nothing else. And then I also got the Cuter Cuticles, um, cuticle oil. Try saying that like five times fast, you'd be a mess. Um, and look at this, there's the little muffin, top of the muffin to you, and Polish Pickup. Great branding, and um, I didn't smell this, but I know it's going to smell the same, but it's a roller ball, and, um, I really like the cuticle oil that comes out in the roller balls. I just, I enjoy that. You're able to really get it. Like, I get a lot of dry skin here. Like, see on the, my poor Cindy hand? She's the one that really needs this stuff. Let's give her a little bit. <laughs> poor old Cindy. She's awful pitiful. Um, but we'll look at this one. Cindy's grubby. <laughs> but, yeah. That is great. So now you can see where I put in the cuticle barrier versus cuticle oil. And neither one of them leaves a lot of that, you know, really high shine that you don't really want in your when you're taking pics of your manis. Um, okay, so that's out of the way. And of course, you thought I didn't get it. No, you saw it at the beginning, didn't you? <laughs> Pretty beautiful and limited wax sampler. It's a 15 cent sampler. And this is made by Virginia Shaw. Great little lady. She has polish too. Um, but I'll just give you a quick look at some of her waxes. Aren't they cute? I mean, sometimes, like there's, she always does like the little bees in the honeycombs. And, um, and this scent was I love the 90s so it's kind of like 90s based scents but I just if I can get it out and not take too long I want you to see and of course I lost it give me that charm I will be back so you get a charm every month if you order the pretty beautiful unlimited wax she's always got a charm in there and it's I love the 90s and check out this charm I stinking love this. How stinking cute is this thing? Look, it says love. Oh, Virginia Shaw, we love you. <laughs> and uh, that's the Pretty Beautiful Unlimited 
15 cent sampler, wax sampler. And then I got the, let me open. If you ever get a chance to pick up the Luna wax, if you at, even like air freshener in your house, you gotta try this. This stuff is amazing. The smell is crazy. It lasts and lasts and I love it. I'm gonna buy them every time I see them now. <laughs> but this is um, Luna wax and um, it's, Link to the Past is the name of it, and it's in the scent Fruit Stripe Gum. And it smells like the Fruit Stripe. Remember the Yikes Fruit Stripe Gum? Look at that, even the little hearts, you know, like that. And um, you get you a little shovel, and you dig into this stuff. Look at that, ah, oh, it's so much fun. I don't wanna mess it up yet, but yeah. And I smell like a lot of cherry, and lemon and oh it's just so super fruity i love this and then i went crazy on the wax this time guys i was like nope i'm loading up because i usually only for the month i buy the pretty beautiful and uh you know try to make it last me which like what 15 is gonna last me no <laughs> the whole month no but, uh, let's see be right this is um, Scent Memory by uh, Lynn B. Designs. It's a wax uh, clamshell. And oh my gosh, y'all, it smells just like fruity pebbles. No wonder it's called Scent Memory. Yes, just like eating a bowl of thing. I I'm gonna eat a bowl of cereal when I'm done with this video. Oh, great. The, the makers of this wax for April, they came with it. And I'm telling y'all, you are missing out if you all don't start buying you some of this. Cause uh, it, it's great. And it really lightens your mood too. You know, you smell that good smell blowing through your house, get your house getting clean. You smell all those smells. Then just polish your nails or make you some YouTube videos for me to watch. Yeah, I'll be right back with what you came here for. Okay guys. This is by Caloris de Carol. It's called Not So Cowardly. And I believe this one was based off of Courage the Cowardly Dog. One of my son's and mine and my mom's most favorite cartoons. But it's a beautiful um, soft pink. Almost reminds me of like a raspberry sorbet color. With those beautiful um, glitters in there. Oh, just... This was my main pick, so I'm only going to do one coat, and um, the other coat I'll do off, you know, off film, off camera. <laughs> Can't talk. And it goes on really smooth. It's not too thick, you know. Sometimes you get these Corellis, and they're a little thick. This one is just right, and it's just beautiful, and that is one coat of Not So Cowardly by Caloris. I've got two from Cuticula, but um, this is their um, Raspberry Sugar Mic Drop Base Coat. Um, I don't know if you remember in my last uh, PPU video, I actually got the uh, top coat in the same scent, Raspberry Sugar. So I really wanted to get this one, and um, I'm not going to use it on a nail tip, but um, I will just kind of show you, you know, wait, well, I guess I can put a little on old Cindy here. <laughs> Woohoo! Look over my terrible nails, please. I've been out cleaning all day in the yard. Well, not all day, but a part of the day. It smells great. And that's their Cuticula's uh, Mic Drop Base Coat in Raspberry Sugar. Beep. I don't know if you saw it there, but that's what it is. And then <laughs> I got um, Cuticula's Playing Games. It's gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Oh, it's like a beautiful teal with, um, looks like black glitters and a little bit of silver shimmer in there. Oh, it's beautiful. 
and if you buy this one you or if you bought it and you haven't gotten it yet be sure you shake that up because all of the good stuff in my bottle was like up front and i have shaken it i i I am the shaker in my house. I, I'm not, um, I don't have one of those actual shaker machines like uh, Tina from Moon Baby Nails has. Tina, I want your shaker. I just love Miss Tina from Moon Baby Nails. She has been such an inspiration to me um, for years now probably the past five six years i've been watching her channel and um yeah she was a big lot of the reason why you know i really got really interested in nail art so shout out to you tina and that is one coat of cuticula's playing games if i can get it in <laughs> playing games this is a new brand alert for me, Emily Damali. Can you see it there? This is an ode to no one. And oh my goodness, y'all, this polish is amazing. It is just, I don't know what to say about it. Um, it almost has that oil slick vibe to it. Um, there's just a rainbow of flakes in there. They just shift, and oh my gosh, I am in love. And I've heard a lot of good things about um, this brand of polish. So, I know I will love it. <laughs> and this is an ode to no one. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. I got way too big of a nail tip out. The formula is amazing. I mean, it just, it is another glider. You know what I say, they glide like butter. They're butter smooth. If you do a lot of polishing, you know exactly what I mean. Um, but look at that. Oh my gosh. I could just sit here and look at it with you all forever. Well, maybe I need to get up and eat, but. <laughs> But that is one coat of a polished brand. I will be trying to snag every chance I get. One coat of an ode to no one by Emily Damali. Another brand, um, it's not new to me. I have a few of her polishes, but um, it's still kind of semi-new to me, and that's Paradox Polish, and I love them. Um, this is iMac G3, and this is whoop, whoop, a white crelly. I love white crellies. It's just, oh, yes. Look at that, though. It's just, look at all these beautiful rainbow glitters in there, and they just shift and twinkle, and, oh so beautiful these makers can you see now why i went crazy in the april sale for ppu yes yes this is why the makers you guys did an absolutely amazing job on these polishes going in for the first coat of paradox polish imac g3 and I love this brush. Oh my gosh, y'all. It is a great, I don't know, can you see? Look at this brush. Great paddle brush. And um, if, if ever you see that you've got a polish like this and you're not getting a lot of the glitters, what I call the good stuff, um, I learned a little trick that if you hold the brush like exactly flat, you know, and lay it a little on your nail, and just come straight see that see how all those glitters got on there um, works for me anyway and that is one beautiful coat of paradox polish iMac g3 oh i hope this is picking up how pretty that is and did you really think that i would let a ppu go by and not grab rogue lacquer <laughs> Look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. They do these like um, 
very soft Crellies that don't have the big glitter. You know, they just have the little um, shimmery glitters in there. They do these so well. Rogue does. Um, this is It's Gonna Be May. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, let's see what It's Gonna Be May looks like. I'm telling you guys, those makers. Uh, and the swatchers who swatch these, you gotta give it to them because you know the polish is beautiful and it will sell but those makers also or sorry not those swatchers actually you know sell a lot of the polish too with their beautiful manis of these you know it's hard to take pictures and really show the beauty of the polish that's that's hard i've tried i know it's really hard so shout out to the swatcher and the makers but um that is one coat of Rogue Lacquer. It's going to be May. I'm not going to sing it this time. Beautiful. Are you guys getting tired? Never tired of polish, are we? But don't worry. We're almost at the end. <laughs> this is Sassy Pants Polish, and believe it or not, I think I may only have one bottle of this, if I even, this may be my very first bottle, but it won't be my last. Look at that. This is 90s Retro. When I saw the swatch of this thing, I was transported back to going to the skating ring, you know, those uh, neon lights and all the um, colors, you know underneath the neon lights that's exactly what i thought about when i saw this one it is gorgeous for one it's purple for two it's hollow through and through good you know hollow goodness through and through and it kind of has like the crelly vibe and i shook this up but you know i'm the shaker in the house so i can't do it but um I want to show her card. Um, it's Sassy Pants Polish. Um, Angie Nayans. I'm probably slaughtering her name, but um, here's her info there. Really great branding. I always like to, if they send a card, I like to show it. Um, but let's see what 90s uh, retro looks like. I hope I can get some of the curly glitters in this because I didn't shake this one too well but we will see oh yeah they came out they came out I'll do a little bit more um, shaking <laughs> when I go to do my second coat I'll get some of those out don't hold that on the polish that's probably my fault but that is one coat of sassy pants polish 90s retro beautiful we have scofflaw polish look at that Delia's catalog I always love the butt labels on these they're so pretty but um this one is gorgeous. It's that deep, vampy. It's like purple, but it's like a grayed out purple with those beautiful, like, fuchsia shimmers in there. Just gorgeous. Scofflaw um, is a, a thicker brand of polish, so, you know, if you're not used to it, you will definitely <laughs> have a mess on your fingers it just takes a little getting used to you know that thick polish it's not like super thick it's just a little thicker now this one's actually not so make a liar out of me scofflaw but some of them are that i have seen oh this is so pretty i love scofflaw And don't be like me. Don't overwork it. 
that is. Was I even in frame? Y'all, if I wasn't, I'm so sorry. I'll check, but if I was out of frame, I'm sorry here. If I, just in case. We'll do this just in case I wasn't in frame. <laughs> there. One and a half coats of Scofflaw Polish Delias Catalog. Okay, guys, this is a new brand for me, and dun 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 dun, we're at the end. I know you're glad to hear that, aren't you? <laughs> I'm glad to be at the end. This is a lot for me, anyway. Um, this is a new brand for me, Serum Number no. Five Love Lacquer, and it is called Egg Watch. And do you guys remember the Egg Watch? Like, are you old enough? I remember the egg watch. I am old enough. <laughs> but this polish is beautiful. Look at that. Ah. And for some reason, when I saw the swatches, I don't know if I just didn't pay enough attention or what it was, or if maybe it was swatched over tan, but I thought this was going to come be like a, a neutral color. <laughs> and when I saw it, I was like, that's not what I remember, but, you know, my mind is a little gone, so I don't remember a whole lot anymore. But let's see what Egg Watch looks like. And before I do this swatch, and before I forget, because I am a forgetful person, if you are enjoying these um, PPU videos and the Phantom Flay, any of my content, if you like it um, and you're new, please subscribe to my channel. And even if you're not new, please drop me a like, um, you know, and hit that notification bell. And, you know, if you feel like it, share my videos to someone you think might would enjoy them. Um, I'd really like to do a little bit more growing with this channel. Um, I'm working on some videos and getting, you know, some different content on my channel. And if there's anything you would like on my channel, just let me know and I'll see if I can do it for you. Um, okay, enough of that. <laughs> Serum number five, Egg Watch. In case you forgot like me. <laughs> And I love this pop. This, I probably did see it over um, tan. I must not have paid good attention. This may be a topper. I am not for sure. Because, yeah. It's like, yeah. I'm, that's what probably why I thought it was tan. I didn't pay enough attention. And it was just a topper over some tan polish. <laughs> But it's okay, because I love this. This is gorgeous. And I am a person that I could wear this by itself. Did, was I in frame? Ha! Ah, I'm going to do one more just in case. It's late, guys. It's like really late. And I am sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Oh, maybe it builds up because I put that extra coat on there but I'm just overworking it to death but that is one and a half to two coats of serum number five egg watch oh look at it it's just twinkling it is so pretty I could do so much with this I do believe it is a topper though I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm going to try to run through these fairly quick if I can. Uh, this is Caloris de Carol. Um, not so, not so cowardly. Two coats and a glossy top coat. Really pretty. Loving it. Cuticula, playing games, that's two coats and a glossy top coat, 
really, really pretty. I was happily surprised with this next one. It is the Emily DeMolly, um, an ode to no one. Oh my gosh, y'all. This thing, uh, why haven't I bought from this brand before? I don't know, but I know now. Now you know. <laughs> Paradox Polish iMac G3 that is two coats and a glossy top coat and this one looks great. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. Oh, I love it. Then Rogue Lacquer. It's gonna be me. Two coats and a glossy top coat. I love Rogue Lacquer. And then Sassy Pants Polish 90s Retro. I was able to get some more in there and I really liked, I don't know if you can tell about, look at the black, um, you know how I it's like the pond effect is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, really pretty. It built up nice. Um, just a really gorgeous purple polish with some hollow in there and a little something, something. But two coats and a glossy top coat. Sassy Pants Polish 90s Retro. And then... Scofflaw Lacquers. Um, well, spinning around there. Delia's catalog. Two coats and a glossy top coat. I hope you can see it. It's kind of dark, um, but it's really pretty. Really, really a pretty color. And then, <laughs> uh, serum number five. Egg watch, which was a topper, but that's okay. I love it. Look at that, how beautiful. Um, I didn't put a top coat on this one, but it is beautiful. And I put it just on this finger where you could see it. Really pretty, no top coat. Really, really like if you just wanted a little something delicate without you know having to do a lot. This would be a really pretty polish. And that's just one coat. So two coats, it would build it up a little. Or even three if, you know, you want to do that. But um, that's it for me, guys. And, um, oh, 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 before I go, if you were like me and you got the Paradox Polish um, iMac G3, um, it's going to need, um, like, a glitter eating top coat. Um, I just put a regular top coat on, and uh, which it's still a little tacky, but you might could get by with, you know, if you've got just a little bit of a thick consistency of your top coat, but you may want to get the glitter eating top coat. Just a quick thing there. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed my PPU for April. I sure enjoyed sharing it with you. And um, like I said, if there's anything that you would like to see like if some of my polishes in the past you've seen and um, I know I don't do a lot of them on, you know like a lot of nail art on my channel I've got an Instagram and I'll put it in the description box um, and if you'd like to see pictures of this many it's on my Instagram but um, if there's anything you want to see um, just let me know in the comments and I'll see about making a video for you and um, just you guys stay safe and um, there's going to be the May PPU coming up and it's going to be a great sale so go and find yourself something good. <laughs>